Hey. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right. Awesome. We're good? All right. What's up, man? Okay. Great. So now we're all here. Um, we have a. Uh, hey, Long. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing, David? Good to see you, bud. Right on, guys. Okay, so so we're gonna jump right in here. Um, we've got a very very special call today with two awesome guests, um, David Tall from Agentology and Long Don um, from Minnesota. Runs an amazing brokerage in Minnesota, over 200 agents, one of the top brokerages in the country. Um, and what we're gonna do today is um, we're gonna talk with David Tall from Agentology. Um, just kind of get dig in deep with David for the first 20 minutes or so. Learn all about his business. Learn all about you know uh, some of the amazing things that they're doing over in San Diego with Agentology. We're we're using Agentology um, as a, as a brokerage and a company, um, and then you know Long as a as a guest for us uh, from 9:20 to to 9:40. But we thought figure Long be on with us too. We can all have a conversation. Long is uh, really big on systems and conversion and stuff like that too. So let's ju let's jump right in, man. Let's, I want to get get dig dig deep with you, David. Um, learn about what you guys are doing. You came out with a first of all, your company is like on fire right now. There's so much buzz about agentology. Um, you guys are some, doing some really great things with leads, converting leads at a high level. You're calling them, texting them, following up with them. Um, and you came out, you guys came out with a very, very interesting report today that I'd love to get into as well. So let's just, let's dig right in, man. So um, tell us, what are, you, what are you seeing out there in terms of leads, like the best sources of leads? How are you getting leads to reply? What are you guys doing? And Tell us what, you know, tell us what you guys are seeing out there, man. Um, yeah. So, you know, as, as you mentioned, we are, you know, an ISA company. We help agents uh, engage and qualify their internet leads. And so we are working with, you know, thousands of agents now around the country and have all this data that we're gathering and things that we're always testing to see what works best. And, and you know, the report you mentioned, um, and feel free to share a link to that um, with, with your team. Um, it is our way of kind of sharing what we're learning um, with the industry and we're going to be releasing that every quarter um, What I'll talk uh, Regarding lead sources. Here's some uh, info I could share so you have to kind of bucket out the difference between you know like portal leads and CRM IDX type leads there are two different you know levels of quality, but also of cost um, so if I was just to, to answer the question, you know, what are the highest converting lead sources um, hands down it's Zillow and it's realtor.com and Trulia um, those are obviously the three big portals as well and they're also the, the most expensive you know CPL or cost per lead however they're also the highest converting um, that being said um, you know now we're seeing a, a huge rise in leads coming from you know CRMs Facebook um, you know IDX type sites um, those are typically lower quality. However, they're cheaper to generate as well. And so one of the most important things that agents need to factor in, and we're building this into uh, agentology over the next couple of months so that agents don't have to do the math and just we'll show it to you, is what is your true cost per qualified lead, right? Not just what's your cost per lead and what's your conversion rate. Separately, none of them matter. Only together do they really matter and you can normalize you know how things are working for you so let me just give you a quick example of that just to put a, a real example and numbers in place for that so let's just say you're paying Zillow and on average let's just say each lead costs you fifty dollars okay and now let's say that the that fifty percent of the leads are qualified right really high qualification rate fifty percent And by the way we're seeing numbers in the forties and fifties with Zillow and Realtor um, Wow. So, so your cost per qualified lead on a $50 lead where half of the leads are qualified would be $100 per qualified lead. You follow me? Yep. That's what, that's what matters. Now, let's say you're generating a ton of Facebook leads and you're getting them for $10, um, but only 10% of them are qualified, right? You're still getting $100 per qualified lead. That is the only way to truly measure... Um, success across these different portals is to understand those numbers now you may get ten dollar leads on um, on your Facebook or on your website whatever and 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 20% of them are qualified and you might be like oh those are qualified far less than my Zillow leads but 
if you're paying 10 bucks per lead and 20% are qualified, you're really paying $50 per qualified lead. And so if that example held, that would be a better strategy. Now, we always tell agents to have a, a blend of kind of, you kind of have to diversify, just like if you're investing in stocks. You know, in stocks, you're diversifying because you're, you're betting that you'll have a few losers, you'll have a few winners. Overall, you're trying to hedge your bets and have an overall win. It's the same with leads. Um, you have to really balance out and, 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 and diversify higher quality, more expensive leads versus lower quality, more volume of leads and see how it goes for you. There's no right answer. It's what works for you. Question for you. So two things. One is, what is your definition of a qualified lead? Number two is, so we're talking about all these sources. Some are higher than others, right? So what is your, at the end of the day, I, I care about for the money I spend, what's going to give me the best return on my money? So if I get 10 leads that are Facebook at $10 versus five leads at Zillow at $50, at the end of the day, which ones are going to be, like which one's going to give me a better return on my money? Sure. So I'll answer the first question, which first, which is, uh, you know, what do we consider a qualified lead? So at Agentology, we, ha we have to set some kind of a bar because we're, 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 we're processing all of these leads nationwide from all of the different sources, every type of lead, buyer, seller, general, home evaluation, all sorts. And we have to normalize what we consider a minimum standard for a qualified lead. And so what we consider a qualified lead is someone that we're actually able to engage in and have a conversation with whether it be by phone or SMS or even by email if they're actually communicating back and forth that way. Although the majority communicate via SMS followed by, by phone. Um, that's step one. And two is that they express interest in actually connecting with the agent on the team. That is the minimum bar where if that's all the information we get, we will qualify it and send it over to you. Now, that being said, let me just be clear. We try to gather far more info than that. You know, leads usually come in with just very basic contact information, um, maybe a property they were inquiring about specifically on Zillow or wherever, or just a general form they filled out with just their contact info. When we're having conversations with them, and, and we call your leads right away, we call them first and we call them again within another minute of that. So within, a, within the first five minutes or so, we've made two attempts by phone because we have the best conversations via, via phone. If it's in the middle of the night, we'll obviously, we can't call legally, so we'll text first. But we actually offer to call. Um, so even at two in the morning, if someone fills out a form, we'll text them. And if they wanna call, we will call them. Um, when we're having conversations with your leads, we're trying to gather much more information, like what's your time frame? Are you pre-approved for a mortgage? What's your price range? Are you already working with another agent? What other things are important to you? What other neighborhoods are you interested in? We're trying to have a humanized, authentic, personalized conversation with every single one of these leads because we know that that is the most effective way of winning them over and building the trust so that when we hand it off to you, we can really be teeing you up for success with that lead. And you have much more information packaged by the time you actually receive that qualified lead. Um, so that's step one. Um, to answer your second question, it, it really is difficult to say because... First of all, Zillow varies dramatically by zip code. I mean, they're, they're, I mean and qualified rates are, are fairly consistent, but levels of intent, motivation, time frame vary dramatically um, across every single market and zip code. Uh, it depends if you're getting leads exclusively or not. I mean, there's so many factors there. Same with Facebook, right? Facebook, you know, are we talking about driving leads to your website? Are we just having fill, them fill out a lead form, which has no information really that you're providing? Um, is it just driving traffic to a specific listing or an open house list? It, it varies so dramatically. So as much as I want to answer that for you, um, it would be irresponsible for me to do so because an answer that I give you may be wrong for somebody else. And so what we're, what we're doing, and this is not being a, me being a politician, <laughs> this is me trying to be honest with you and say it really, it really varies. Okay. However, with Agentology, we, you do find that out for you specifically. So, so, for example, you and I, Kevin, can dive into your account and, and really figure out across the different lead sources we're managing for you, which ones are giving you the best results. Right. One of the things you'll be able to do quickly, um, not quickly, well, soon with Agentology is for every lead source we're providing, 
you'll be able to put in how much you're spending on that source so that we can actually deliver to you what are your costs per qualified leads by source. That should be the first kind of first part of the funnel that normalizes it. Beyond that, you need to track, and we don't have this tracking yet, what leads to a listing, what leads to showings, what leads to a closing of escrow so you can actually get a true ROI metric. Um, that's kind of phase two, and we hope to, to move into that, but we're gonna need participation from you guys to actually keep those lead statuses updated so we can provide that information. And that's so, it's so important and thinking about tracking and measuring and long, feel free to jump in on this because we're gonna talk about tracking and measure, measuring afterwards, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, put you on the spot, okay, David? And you don't have to answer, sure. and I totally understand if you don't answer, but let's say you were an agent in California, okay? And you had to decide which lead source, to, one lead source to choose, what, which lead source would that be? Did we lose David? Kevin, can you repeat that? You totally froze yeah, while you sorry. were saying that. So I, I asked if I'm going to put you on the spot and you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask sure. you anyway. If you were an agent in California and you just you're just and you have to pick one lead source, what lead source would that be? If if I had to choose one source, I would I would go with um, oh man, that's a tough one. <laughs> if I had to go with now, I would probably go with Facebook to start. Um, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. Um, however, I would quickly add Zillow or realtor.com. Um, I, either one, I mean, they're, they're pretty much about the same. Um, the reason I, if, if I was going to only start with one, I would go with those is with Facebook. You can, you can really have control over your budget on a monthly basis. You're going to get leads quicker and more often because they are going to be cheaper to generate in California than a Zillow would. Um, so I would start off by getting a little more volume going um, and kind of more at bats in that way, right? Um, more practice with it. Um, starting to set up, it's easier to start to set up your systems and your follow-up systems for long-term nurture um, if you have kind of more volume to start to work with. Uh, and because you could start with $100 a month, right? Uh, I don't yeah. know of any codes you can get in Z on Zillow for 100 bucks a month. In more California. like $100 a lead. <laughs> exactly, right? So I would, um, but as you start to get a return, I would absolutely um, invest in Zillow, um, Realtor.com and the big portals because one of the things that we have found is they are, they are the highest converting and in terms of time frame, they are the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're the closest to transacting. The Zillow leads? Yes, they are, they are the closest to transacting. Um, well, how, do you, how do I word that differently? <laughs> their, their time frames are the shortest. Yeah, they're the lowest in the funnel out of all. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of people, and, and, and here's why. It makes sense. Here's why. These are people who are actively saying, I'm looking and I'm searching and I'm going to go on this site and I'm ready to start showing or looking at properties. When you're advertising on Zillow, it's kind of like a billboard, right? You're just kind of flashing yourself in front of them. I mean, flashing yourself appropriately in front of the, <laughs> in front of, in front of an audience, right? Um, you're, you, they're not there to like find a realtor. They're there to see where their friends went last night and why they didn't get invited. You mean on and Facebook, like, right? Boom. You're talking boom. about Facebook. You're talking, talking about Facebook. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so the intention is not as high necessarily. That doesn't mean it's not worth doing because you can pull them in before they even start to go to sites like Zillow down the road. Right. Yes, and that makes total sense. I mean, I, I talk about that all the time. With Facebook, we're with uh, Realtor.com, Zillow, and, this, and the portals, people are actively going and they're looking for property, looking for an agent. On Facebook, it's more of a, it's more of a, a inactive. It's, it's like you're, they're being, they're being uh, approached, right? So they're being, they're being sought after. Um, yeah. Do you have a question, Law? Yeah, for David. So what type of lead would you accept in, with, to end agentology? For example, is it, did you say that only people who raise their hand and express interest or can we download like our Z buyer or, you know, our database from sync we have, who will you accept in to make calls for us? Well, I mean, so we work with any fresh leads. We don't do any older database leads, anything like that yet. Um, right now what we're focusing on are fresh inbound leads. So we do have some workarounds with Z buyer. I know that's a tricky one. Um, but, we have some workarounds and we have a ton of Z buyer clients, like a ton of them. And we're always begging them to create some kind of a freaking email or something that we could parse 
to, so that we can get it in real time because it's really a disservice to everyone involved where there's time delay in, gener in getting to that lead information, putting it into your CRM or into us directly for us to pick it up. There's delay and every minute obviously delays us from being able to do what we want to do. Um, so we just know that if we can get it instantly, um, obviously the, we, we would perform better on ZBuyer, but we perform pretty well, I would say, given that everyone has that same experience with ZBuyer. Um, and we are actively pushing, we're making a total of 10 attempts with every single lead, phone calls, texts, emails, 10 attempts, 10 to 11 attempts over a five day period. So we are very effective with those. Um, but yeah, we, we take leads from anywhere. We have, a, we have hundreds of sync users. Um, we are actually, I, I know everyone said it, it, it'll never be done, that they will never integrate with anybody, but we are making progress. Um, the CEO of Sync, of Sync was here in our office. Great, great guy, Alvaro. Really, really great, super smart guy. Um, is recognizing that we have a lot of common, common customers and we are in conversations to figure out how we can create a, the first integration ever um, that Sync does outside of their, um, of their ecosystem. So I'm awesome. really excited about that. If anyone can pull that off. So right now, if I understand correctly, just incoming leads, right? Right now, that's what you're taking. Exactly. And uh, I have a question for you, I, and, and you know we don't have a lot of time, and, and you're you're taking up time out of your day, so thank you for doing that, David. Um, so real quick on the report you, you came out with, there were some really interesting statistics that I that I read in that report. One of which include information on text messaging, and how 41% of text messages come in from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that, man. That that's like that's big. So, so I'll explain the context there. So we, we, we initiate every attempt by a phone call if it's during working hours, right? Um, but if they, don't, if they don't answer, we call again. And if they don't answer, we start sending texts like, hey, is there a better time to connect, blah, blah, blah. What, what that statistic shows you is when they text us back. And it makes sense, right? People are at work. People are busy. Someone was probably literally in line at Taco Bell and they filled something out. And we call them and they don't answer. And, and later we send them a text. And, and then hours after that, they text us back when they're home. They're sitting in bed after dinner. That's when they decide to text back. Um, it's extremely common. There's another statistic that, you know, over 50% of your leads come in after hours and weekends. So that's wild. So, you know, even we have a lot of, we have a lot of clients that have ISAs in-house. And we think that's great. But they use us. Um, Many times they use us on, on top to do it 24 seven anyway. That way their ISAs can really focus on, on setting up actual clients on, on MLS search. A lot of people who are really confident in their in-house ISA, they use us for nights and nights and weekends. And you can set those settings with us, not on your dashboard currently, but you can do it with us. You just let us know your, the hours you want and we set that up for you so we can say, hey, we'll do these for you from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. every day. There's a tremendous amount of volume there that agents are absolutely just wasting and missing because they can't respond to those leads. We're 24 seven. You've seen our office. Okay. We're here 24 seven. You should come after you go clubbing one night. There are people here, bring them a burrito. They'll appreciate it. I might, I might so, do that. <laughs> um, they're here. They are working it. We get a tremendous amount of volume overnight. Um, it just is what it is. P people are busy during the day. They may have filled out a form or you may have got their attention on Facebook during the day when they were um, not focusing on work and they, you captured them, but they're not going to really engage back until after dinner and now they're in bed with their spouse or whatever. And that those leads all around the clock. We're never letting them wait because we know that, when they're engaging and we engage back quickly, we create trust, we create rapport, we make you guys look really good because we're representing you guys, right? You know, this is David on behalf of the Kevin Markarian, you know, Marker Real Estate team, right? right. Um, this isn't David from Agentology responding. Right. We're representing you and we wanna make sure we put you in the best light possible. And I'll tell you, we've been using you guys for a long time, Agentology, we've been using um, your services and I, I mean, I couldn't be happier. You, uh, I mean, really, really, you guys do a great job. Um, and, uh, you know, and the things you do in terms of follow up and, and also the live call transfers that are, that have, you guys have just recently implemented, which are, which is really great. But 
we're, we're, you know, we're almost, we're pretty much out of time. And, uh, I don't want to take up any more of your time, David. We're going to, um, we're going to jump over and start talking and chatting with Long and feel free to hang out. I know you're super busy. And if you have to go, that's totally fine. But I want to ask you one last question. Um, if we want to find out more about agentology, like what, like what are, what do you recommend? What are, how do we do it? And what are some last things that, that we should know about agentology? Yeah. So, um, I would just schedule, have, have, have anyone schedule a demo and I will give, this is not public on our website, but we do have a, a 30 day free trial for any lab coat agents. And so use that link. If you can share that link with them, happy to share that, you know, okay. across the board. Um, so it's just agentology.com slash lab coat agents. Um, okay. and, 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 and by the way, the reason, the reason we, we did that is because, Tristan and Nick use us, genuinely use us. And so we said, hey, if you guys believe in us, you know, we wanna, we wanna make sure that your um, constituents on your group have access to try us out even before they ever pay anything. See how it works for them. That's how confident we are in it. And so send in everyone. Man. Man, that's bad. There, so that we can also configure your account accordingly. So it's a very kind of consultative um, approach to figure out if we're right for you. <laughs> and we'll tell you. Um, um, and how we can set that up to be a, as effective. You froze up there, Kevin, or did I, I know, freeze I'm up? Sorry, we're, we're getting we're getting some uh, some static here. Did I leave you speechless? Is that what it was? <laughs> Content so good, I just don't know what to do. I'm like frozen. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I posted awesome. the link. I posted the link. Sorry? Uh, I okay, po great. I posted the link. We'll uh, we'll share it on our in our within our own group. Um, and, uh, well, you know, thank you very, very much for your time, man. Really, really appreciate it. CEO of, of agentology, David Tao. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you as well so much. And the, just the last thing I'll, I'll mention is you guys can also look up our agentology mastermind community. I invite anyone to join cause then you kind of see how other agents are using it. Other kind of things they, they talk about their experiences. Um, and I'm always available as you know, I'm, I'm pretty responsive and reactive because I, I try to really be in there in the weeds with everybody. And that's how, that's how we learn how to make the product better. So I'm available for anyone anytime and uh, best of luck. I do have to run, um, but I appreciate you having me uh, and long come visit again soon.